Nutrients, plants, and animals collect along the boundaries formed by differences in properties like temperature or even by wind. Fish of all sizes gather along these edges. Currents like the Florida current below also catch up and transport plankton, the small plants and animals at the base of the oceanic food chain. Historically, biologists have collected specimens and kept them in laboratory tanks for observation. Much of the collection work has been done with a net. Yet nets tend to catch what one marine scientist has called the weak, the blind, and the unlucky. The lucky and the agile tend to escape. And nets can be rough on what they do catch. For these reasons, some biologists dive for their specimens. Dr. Lawrence Maiden and his crew from Woods Hole are frequent visitors to waters bordering the eastern side of the Florida current. The ocean is about 900 times denser than air, and pressure at the sea bottom can be more than a thousand times greater than at the sea surface. Salt water can corrode oceanographic instruments. For these reasons, progress in oceanography has come hard. Yet it has come. Marine science now stands where meteorology stood a few decades ago, at a breakthrough point in understanding its uncooperative fluid. Modern oceanography does much of its work with sophisticated ships carrying specialized equipment. This research vessel, like her predecessor, the Atlantis, is essentially a platform for science. Satellites have given oceanography a breadth of vision that would have astonished the early investigators. Ships and buoys can cover only a small patch of ocean at one time, but orbiting sensors can observe entire ocean basins, and that is essential to the future of marine science. Some satellite sensors can measure differences in sea surface height caused by changes in gravity or, at finer scales, by wind action. Elevations and depressions in the sea surface can influence circulation patterns. Other scanners measure the temperature of the sea surface. The University of Miami is a major receiving center of the satellite data. Dr. Otis Brown and his colleagues use sophisticated computer programming to turn the data into maps of the world ocean. To find out what is happening below, scientists and military planners use an airdrop probe called the AXBT. The probe includes a buoy with radio and antenna. The instrument yields a profile of temperature with depth that indicates the boundaries between water masses.